Hello everyone, it's a cloudy afternoon here at my outdoor fish tubs. As you can see, it is very windy today due to Super Typhoon Mawar. A week ago, we set up our natural grooming containers and started to groom male guppies inside these bottles. Today, a lot of algae have grown inside some of our grooming containers. Dead banana leaves already sunk at the bottom as well. When I check out the guppies, it doesn't have much improvements since it's still one week. But we can see that guppies are very healthy. The green water also helps the guppies to develop vibrant coloration. Algae is good but too much algae can also kill guppies. So I decided to remove some of the algae using a small cup. I can also see a few dead moringa leaves floating on our containers. So we will also catch them as well. As you can see, these two tubs have low water level as water evaporates over time due to hot weather condition. And the rest of the containers still have 70% water level. So we will take out 20% of water inside to balance all the containers before topping up fresh water. After 10 minutes, we were able to remove half of the water level in our grooming containers. I am using a bottle with fresh water to top up the containers. The grooming containers include 6 and 10 liters capacity. So I only need small amount of water to fill it up completely. As you can see, I gently fill the containers nice and slow to avoid stressing my guppies. When grooming, we are feeding high protein pellets and we are also feeding live foods like fresh dapnias and baby brine shrimps. Here I have a DIY hatchery for brine shrimp eggs that incubate for almost 16 hours already. I'm not sure if some of the eggs have hatched already, but let's find out after 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, the baby brine shrimps have settled at the bottom, and we can see tiny brine shrimps moving. Now I will harvest a few baby brine shrimps, enough to feed our males inside the grooming containers. We will also be using sirens to feed the guppies properly. The good thing about feeding with sirens is that you have full control of how much brine shrimps you are giving to them. Too much live foods is not good as it affects the water condition. Some live foods will just die and will contaminate the water. This is why we only feed enough live foods to our guppies. In the next video, we will check our males. We will see the progress including their colors and their growth as well. We still have remaining brine shrimps, so we will feed it to the other guppies like my male juvenile Dumbuay red tail guppies. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.